What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the server, as usual. And uh, the sheep farm is... I wouldn't say... Mm, I wouldn't say ready to go. I need more sheep. I'm tempted just to breed these, like these. Actually, not a bad idea. I could probably breed these guys and just spread them across the floor and then dye them later. The red sheep aren't even meant to be in this one. They're meant to be up like a level 4 or something, so... Yeah, but it's getting there. It's getting there. As you can see, the first level's done. Look at this. This is beautiful down here. Beautiful. Just organized. Beautiful. So I've been getting a bit of work done, mostly around my own base, which is nice, actually. I have got on the past couple of days... By the way, MJ's on. Uh, over the past couple of days, and actually... Actually, um, got a bit done, actually. For once. <laughs> Stuff's getting done. So first off, you may remember this tunnel. Well, we actually have a second tunnel. And this is one of my favorite things I like to do. I, I've been putting little tunnels all over everywhere on my base. And I'm going to slot in a few uh, secret tunnels. I've got a couple of ideas for some secret tunnels that I'm going to slot in. Uh, no one will know about them. So if anyone ever wants to come and take me on while they're invisible, I pretty much, I know my base better than you know it. So I know where all my secret tunnels are. And if you want to try and chase me through them, good luck. Uh, oh. Okay, my, my legs are gone, apparently. I, I just saw my armor, like, that's, that's yeah. They had blast protection. Um, I'm not sure if I showed you my death out of last time. I think I did, actually. Uh, I finally put efficiency 4 on my axe. So, my shitty bane of arthropod sword. First, uh, one of the changes I made was this. Fixed the floor, didn't like it the way it was. But I need these stairs here, so I actually access the chest. I like the quartz roof. I, put in, I found some quartz, I just had it. And I chucked it in, I like it. I like it on the floor too, but I don't like the cobblestone. Uh, I was trying it out. I much preferred when the stone brick was there, but when the stone brick was there, it blended into the rest of the the tunnel. And I want it to kind of be, this is the tunnel, and then just this harsh dividing line where um, the auto smelter setup starts. So I may even move it. You know, I have got I've got plenty of rooms up in this corridor that I can use, or that I can D out, which I'm planning to. So, I'm not sure. Second staircase down there, still yet to be decorated. I've been trying to move away from the stone brick. I don't want to do everything plain stone brick. I've done the roof, it looks fine. Because it, I had to do the roof because it blends into the bottom here, but for these sides, I'm not sure if I really want to do all stone brick. I'm not sure how good it'll look. I think it'll just look too much, too much stone brick. I may do it just for these staircases. Down the corridors, I'm going to do, I've already done this sort of thing. I may do a lava pattern, I may do something else. Maybe with wool or hardened clay, even. That'll look nice. Uh, my bedroom will probably move, I'm not sure about that. Um... Yeah, I think I will just do this stone brick. Because the thing is, I think I can because I have this thing here, and it kind of breaks up the monotony. Um, I've always, I know my building style, and with my building style, I've always got to be careful of putting too much stone brick in places. Always got to be careful. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try it. We'll see how shit it looks. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, you know, I think I might just go with it. I've been... This is the reason why this wall has never been decorated, because I've never wanted to do it all stone brick, but I think my hand's been forced here. By myself. Mind you. <laughs> Look at this. Getting a bit of building done, guys. For once. A rare occurrence in my videos. A very rare occurrence. I need some proper light in here. I don't like putting poor torches randomly. I don't mind when the torches are even. Like when they're this and this. That's beautiful. I like that. By the way, I emitted some glowstone in the roof. I love it. I really like how that turned out. I love it. It's awesome. That's such an unnecessary torch. 
that's okay. That touch there is okay with that one. Uh, these. See if I want to make. I have to move my bedroom now because I want to make it equal with this. Uh, so both sides of this thing are equal as well. Just so it doesn't look. Oh. Well, if I continue the same pattern up, it won't look so bad. But I want to actually change what I do on the sides. Um, so yeah, but that has been the small project I've undertaken, believe it or not. Uh, the big one is actually out here. And of course it's tonight. You know what? MJ's probably recording right now. He could be. <laughs> you never know. I know Fuzz was on before. He was probably recording. He always records when he comes on. Um... So, yeah. Okay. Stop. <laughs> How am I going to introduce this? Stop. Say something. Um, so we've got, you know, the normal thing around here. I'm going to go to the top of the tower because, I, you know, I don't know if it gives a good view, but I'm hoping it does. I'm hoping it does. Up we go. Up to the top. I'm pretty sure I showed this off last time. Fire off there, and then we'll go to the top, and you can see it. <laughs> so basically, I have turned this little strip into a river. Why? Because I can. I, I, I was disappointed by the lack of um, river stuff around my base, so I made another river. Because cause there was so much potential. There was a big lake there and a big lake here, and there's little lakes everywhere, I think. And I thought, let's link them all up. Why not? Why can't we? So we're going to go over there. So we have the lake here, and yet yeah, it is slightly flowing downstream, but, you know, flowing downstream into the lake. How do those guys see me? So, yeah, flowing downstream into the... I'm not sure if it's an ocean. I think it's just a big lake. No, it can't be ocean. It has to be lake, surely. It's just just a big lake. But that's the main lake. But the other thing I did, and I did mention this during my last episode, if I remember. And I'm not going to ride a boat through here. It's too laggy. I kept crashing. Whoa. I see you there. So we take the trip through here. And you can see I've got some little recessed lighting. You can see it's very eerie, mysterious. I like it. This could be more eerie and mysterious. Yeah. But yeah, still got to edit it. Uh, I'm going to get some mossy cobblestone, some cracked uh, stone bricks. No, some mossy, some mossy, whatever. Mossy, whatever. Uh, probably mossy... Hey, I'm a one-hit kill. This is a one-hit kill to you. Yeah, I'll probably get some mossy of stone brick or cobblestone, maybe both. And I'm going to get some vines from when I find a jungle. Uh, oh, in fact, there's one at spawn. I'll probably go steal some vines from there with some shears. And yeah, just make it look really nice. Some vines and everything. So just jazz it up a lot. So, and yeah, and I connected these two lakes as well. Except this needs to be wider so because it's very hard to get a boat through there. But yeah, this flows downstream into this little river too. And, yeah, this is a bit straight for my liking. I need to carve it out a bit more. But I've been working on that for the last couple of hours, and I'm liking how it's going so far. I, I really am liking the look of it. So that's what's been going on. Uh, not much else, I don't think. I still need to replant this. Uh, what we need to do, actually, that reminds me. We have not worked on this thing for ages. This is meant to be the Lapis Shrine. Lapis Shrine. Uh, how do I... In. Yeah, you, as you can see, I don't have a very good way of getting in. I think I'm just going to go with these. Maybe. Oh. Every time I look at them, every time I go, you know what? That's good enough. And then I look at them again, I'm like they're so straight. Oh. Please, I need a design for this. Please, someone, any design, any design that doesn't look crap. Please, because I want to do that, then that. Actually, you know what I can do? I... It's so obvious. All I have to do is move these out from the wall. And then they will look so stupid, probably. 
Yes, finally. Oh. All right. So I'll probably get that done. Um, I'm not sure what this entrance is, was meant to be. Hmm. And I'm going to have an entrance probably in the middle of one of these things or something. So that's what I've been working on. Just want to do a little thing here. And, and uh, yeah, I'll see you very soon after I get to work on some stuff. Alright guys, so look where we are again, and how long has it been since we've done a Spawn Town tour? I mean, come on. We haven't done one for two whole episodes. We didn't even do one last episode. How, how can we go an episode without doing a beloved Spawn Town tour? <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, I haven't actually, weirdly, I haven't gone to Spawn Town for a while, which sounds a bit weird for me, you know, you would think I was there all the time, but no, I'm not. And there is actually quite a few new builds here. I believe I showed you fun songs last time. I believe. Um, we've got a new windmill, which I've, which if you are you are a fan of Lit Zipper, you will, you are will have seen this go up recently. This is desert, by the way, or it used to be. So it's changed all to grass. Looks a lot nicer uh, than the messy farms, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, it's a little. Okay, uh, he's, he's put a little greenhouse as well. Mm. Yeah, he looks like he's going to do the uh, community farms, which is very, very nice of him, I must admit. Very, very nice. Uh, very, very selfless. You can see Morningwood Farms, I believe they're called. Morningwood Farms, there you go. So, that's, they still need to be included, I think. I think Zippo recommended they be encased in glass. I mean, why not? Uh, the other new thing is, uh, we've got a pet shop apparently. The Fame Embassy is no more, or the very, very unfinished Fame Embassy, because, well, to be honest, none of the members of Fame go on the server anymore. <laughs> okay, no. Ali Rad is on the server, I must admit. Uh, I haven't seen Samika, I haven't seen Fairy Juice, and I saw Methia sort of recently, but then I'm not. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's, it's hard to get something done when no one's working on it. So I think Pinky just took the opportunity to move in there and has a pet shop, which we will look at. Pinky's pet emporium totally safe. And yeah, looks good. Still looks like a... I only say work in progress because there's no animals in here, but yeah, there's nothing out back. So yeah, nice work in progress. It looks very... What's upstairs? Well, most of the um, interior is actually done, so it's a very, very well done so far, I would say. It's looking nice, looking nice. Uh, the other new things are actually over the other side of town. And you can see Lowe's, Horse, Thingo, Fuzzboxes, Ghostbusters, Thingo, Zelzies, nothing. Got taken down. I don't know if that was taken down last time, but I think... Well, someone took it down. I think it got burnt down or something. Mm, whatever. He wasn't working on it. Uh, this is my house, of course. Uh, has not had much done to it, except that I put a roof on. So it has a roof now. That's lovely. Uh, I almost want to change this to full blocks, this balcony here. It looks off somehow. It looks too skinny. Mm. Or that it doesn't come out far enough. I don't know. Hmm. But, uh, oh, I never showed the low added an entrance for me, and I couldn't be bothered changing it, so it, it'll stay. It looks a bit weird. It doesn't really fit. Uh, yeah. Yeah, whatever. I've <laughs> yeah. I, I, I can't be bothered taking it down, so it stays. Uh, the new builds are actually over here. Here. Uh, it's Ian Bills, which you've seen right next to mine. Uh, Priz got a new place. Whoa. Ooh, Guadaxion. Ah. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Did he get on the server recently? I don't know. I saw him on, I saw him on the... Uh, uh, probably last week. I saw him on. And that's actually... For those of you who follow the Mindcrack subreddit. And you know this... What do you want? This um, server's meant to... Well, theoretically meant to be for fans of the Minecraft subreddit, hence the name Minecraft subreddit server. 
Now, I can tell you a lot of the guys on the server aren't particularly fans of the subreddit, so we don't really mind. It's just, it really is just another server. Um, but I, I can tell you, Guadux, Guaduxion, however you pronounce it, I'm probably pronouncing it stupidly. Um, he is actually the Vanilla Digest writer, so he is as much of a fan as the Minecraft subreddit as literally anyone. So, he's the biggest fan of the whole. So, yeah, it's nice having him on. I'm not sure if he, if he was on and then didn't come on, or is he, or if he is recently added, I would not know. I don't really keep up with what's going on in the server, to be honest. Most of what I hear is low tells me, so... I'm just kind of walking around here. It's very colourful. I like it. It's very... See, I would not build something like this. This is... Who put these things in here? Is this a prank? It... Is it seriously a prank? I believe it would be a prank. I think this is just someone messing around. Because I don't think Prisma put something, you know, blocking the stairs. I'm just saying. I don't think a builder would do that. Like, it, even I know that. I think this is just someone messing. Wait, was it... Was it Quadox? I didn't really read the sign properly. Yeah, obviously Priz didn't place those. Is it... I decided to give it... Ah, yes. Yes, okay. I didn't read the sign properly. The prank wars are on, but wait until I have a home. I want to go visit. I want to go visit. He's a new person. New person. I like new people in the server. The current opening does have lots of balloons, so it is a prank, okay. Um, well, I don't think Wadux or Pinky do videos, so there you go. <laughs> if it was, I probably would have to cut it out if either of them do videos, but I don't think they do. If they do, then this may be out after either of their videos, so I'm not sure. I don't think Pinky does, so I'm not sure about Wadux. But, um, oh, I should read the sign for this one. Funs. Slightly okay butcher shop where the men eat their meat. Forget those silly pastries. And yeah, it's cool. It's very my building style, don't you think? Hey, that means fun has two buildings in Spawn Town. No fair. Nah, that's fine. We don't really care. Look, no one's going to build on the plot anyway. <laughs> Let's be honest. You can you can go build as many buildings as you want. Why is there lag? Jesus. Um, oh, jeez. Right up. Alrighty, all good, all good. Just sometimes just need to wait a second, reset the recording sometimes. Uh, this is Utterbax, as you can tell by, well, that is very Utterbax skin. Uh, very big plot for Utterbax, jeez. Talk about greedy. Come on, guy. Because this is his thing too, I believe. I believe. Talk about greedy, jeez. Some of us just build on tiny plots, and this guy comes up and gets like a massive plot, I mean. I'm so mad at this. Um, you can you can tell by my voice how mad I am at this. I don't really care. <laughs> nice, nice. It looks, it feels unfinished. I like the idea, but I don't like the extreme openness. Like you just fall off that. I would much prefer this if it was slightly more enclosed. Like like if you got these wood pillars and put one straight down here, and then straight up and. Just enclosed it a little bit more. I would like it a lot more. But I, I like... I like what is done with... Ooh, good viewer spawned down. Wait. I like... But yeah. I like what is being done with this. I'm just going to get here. F1. What a beautiful viewer spawn. What is that? Oh, Lord. What have you done, Gwadux? Oh, no. <laughs> But, um, good view of Spawn Town. Some crappy house in the middle of the screen there. Beautiful view of Spawn Town. Look at that. Lovely. See Bert, all the way over to Bergasm's Castle. That's a guy I haven't seen in a while. You, you, gotta, you gotta get on the server, Bergasm's. There's no one on when I'm on, as you can tell. Although the IP is different currently. Uh, Gowden's doing some... Uh, server migration, so I'm not sure if anyone even knows the server's up, so I can play in nice peace and quiet. <laughs> Which kind of defeats the purpose of playing on a server, I guess. Uh, Butter pause as usual. One of the first uh, buildings completed in Spawn Town, I believe. Well, properly, I reckon. After we started the kind of Spawn Town initiative, I believe it was one of the first. 
uh, completed. Although I think Low got his done first, but then tore it down, so it doesn't count anymore. Epsilon, we all miss you. Blitzippo, no fan mail. <laughs> uh, I will leave him fan mail probably. Whose is this? This has gone up. This is, this has changed. Because this was empty last time I came. I need to get in. Signs. Something about Lippo. <laughs> Lippo. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to call him that now. He's Lippo. For the rest of this video, he will be referred to as Lippo. Because I I just haven't got time to say full people's names. I just haven't got that kind of time in my hands anymore. i got to get this video done Gotta get this video done quickly. Quickly. I just I gotta abbreviate. I gotta abbreviate. And I don't think there is any more unless Zaren's done any more, which I don't think he's done. I changed his sign again. Maybe. Or was it me? No, of course it was me. I always change Zaren's sign. He loves it, so uh, that's why I do it. Every time I do it he's like, ah, oh, had a jolly good laugh there, Steve. Uh, Wait until the next time you change my sign. It's not like he kills me every time or anything. Hmm. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Zarens. The Mighty. And he, of course, he built a massive freaking house as well. Just uh, took up the entire spot down. Yeah, not, not that I'm mad, but, um... Hey. Don't. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Where did you come from? This is only Bane of Arthropods. Of arthropods. Good. Don't want him blowing up my how pretty spawn down. What does this sign say? Okay. <laughs> Sorry about the language. Alright. So I think that's all that's going on. Oh man, whose is this? It looks better than what I usually build. Yeah, I really want to flesh out this balcony. I really want to be full blocks. You know, I'll try that. I will try it. Maybe I'll be back here. Maybe I won't. Who knows? Who knows where this next cut will take me? And it could even take me up to here. Alright guys, welcome back once again. And we are actually in the desert, of course, just behind my base. You can see because there's a lot of holes in it where I've been sand mining. Um, I was prettying up my base, making, making a few new paths and stuff. Uh, I was tidying up the cow farm as well, which now is a horse and wolf farm as well for some reason. And pig. So, you know, four different animals, whatever. There's floating blocks there. Oh, whatever. But I got the burning desire, as you can see, to do some redstone. Go away. Uh, okay. I'm trying to shoot your buddy. Uh, anyway, got some burning desire to do some redstone. Now, I was making a path out from the wheat farm out here, so it... Now I have a path in each direction from the wheat farm, so it's a nice central point, I think. And I thought, well, you know, mobs can just walk straight in from the desert. I can light all this up, but mobs are always going to find their way in uh, through the desert anyway. Um, and also I need to put a door over on that one, but uh, it's not as bad because it's not as close to the central location. Um, basically, when I'm running through my wheat farm, I'm going to be, I'm going to get mobs coming in. So I did some redstone. And I've actually done most of the hard stuff that I had to figure out. So basically, this is a really compact double extender. Uh, I may post a Blue World video of my little double extender because I'm really, really um, pleased how it came out. And I've actually been making triple extenders as well. Uh, so I'll be using them most likely. Basically, I went ahead and created a compact vertical double extender because I didn't have one in my arsenal to use. Um, and now I've just kind of expanded it out to be the double extender, or the, the one side by side. And I reckon it can actually go three wide. Yeah, this can go three wide very, very easily. Uh, the four wide version will have a bit of lag, but definitely easily three wide this can go. Uh, you just need the little extra bit of redstone like this. I've got a double repeater there. They are necessary. Um, it didn't work any other way. So that's how it's going. Uh, now, we'll, uh, come on. Now all I need to do is hook it up to a T flip flop and a B B A switch. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Um, I think I just put the button on this wall. Uh, on the other side, it's gonna be a bit harder. I don't have much wall space to work with. 
Uh, see, there's the piston there, so I can't put the button there. Um, yeah, I could. Yeah, but the redstone, the, the redstone would interfere. Uh, I can knock out a bit of glass and put it there, which is what I think I'll do, actually. Yeah. I think the button's going to have to go here. And that means that button can go over there. Beautiful. Uh, no smooth stone. Just making wooden buttons for now. So one button's going to go there. And one button is going to go on this wall somewhere. It doesn't really matter. Uh, wherever is convenient when I finish. Um, so I have two lines that need to be hooked up to an ABBA switch, an ABBA switch. I will, uh, I'll, I'll try and cut out those coughs, actually. Um, if you heard a funny mute then, it was me coughing. <laughs> All right, we'll get to work making the T flip flop now. I need that and that. Uh, I've cleared out a bit of space. Uh, button is there. Yes, I've got some half slabs as well, so we don't bud this piston, which would be. Well, you know, it, it may not matter, but um, I'd rather not bud the piston. I might as like, if I can easily avoid budding this piston, it's beneficial to me, I guess. Hey. Alright, so we will take this here. It should work. It's weird how it doesn't connect properly. Alright. And we will, won't interfere, we'll get the piston there, block on top, um, oh, actually I want to check if this works first, I can never remember which way, I can never remember which way is still broken, um, piston, uh, repeater, the, repeater, Uh, we'll go, we'll just go piston there, it's not actually going to go there, I just want to check if it works. Ah! Oh, is that for a throw? It's an easy fix if it doesn't work, mind you. What? Right. Is that a thing? Can redstone... There you go. I thought that was only on glowstone. There you go. The more you know. It's easy. Okay, looks like this is going up one. All right, all fixed. Let's check if it works. Yep, leaves it out. Yep, so it is that way. Um, the direction I can't remember, if you put a repeater on this block and a dust on this block, it'll no longer work with the uh, the one pulse, I believe. I think it needs to be uh, dust to repeat in these days. Or repeater to repeater, that works as well, actually. So, this is the block, and in fact we can replace it with a redstone block, if need be. Uh, we're actually going to make this a downward. It's easier to use in this case. Just put a holder, just a temporary holder block in there. And now we need an ABBA switch. How long? I'm not sure. But, um. Okay, so the input's from there. Luckily, we can embed it in this wall. Uh, I'm gonna have to brush up on my ABBA switch skills. Um. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a quick cut here. Uh, I'll try and figure out how to do it, actually. Alrighty guys, I got it figured out. Uh, turns out we didn't really need an ABBA switch, technically, uh, because we... Uh, it should still work the way I'm doing it. Let's let's just say that. So that's going to be... 
We'll go like that. Actually, that won't work. That won't, that won't work. I actually know that won't work. Screw it. We'll go like... Oh, and I've run out of space. Lovely. Lovely. Uh, as I learned from a guy by the name of Gus Gold, um, redstone blocks are actually transparent. So you go like that and that, and putting a redstone block there, where that I put that piston, um, will do exactly what it's doing if I can get in there. Right there. So it won't power this block. So I've got to be a bit more careful how I go about this. So we'll go like that. Can you someone play music? Sounds like a good song. We'll go a bit of this. And a bit of that. That should work. Everything's powered. Yep, yep, all good. This needs to be at least three. I'm going to put four just for safety. And it should work. Should. I've got my hopes up, but uh, not sure. Ugh. So I'll. Oh, I need a redstone block. All right, let's just whack in the redstone block and see how we go. Redstone block. Nothing's budded. Nothing. Everything should be okay. This is just max delay, just for safety, so I don't break the thing. I'll put cobblestone there because I don't have... Uh, they, they're going to be fences, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that uh, because, obviously, mobs can't jump fences. I'm still going to have spider problems, but I uh, don't think it'll be much of an issue. So, I'm nervous. Oh, I still need to hook up the other button. Ah! Oh. Oh, no, oh, well, it's a work. Come on, please work. Uh -huh. Nope. Oh, the downwards will work. Oh, no. It didn't retract. They didn't retract. I'm not at that for a sec. Why didn't they retract? That should be working. Ah, uh, all right. I see. Right. I, I got. I've not played around with red sandbox long enough to uh, know that would happen. Um. You know, weirdly, if we put a torch down there, it'll actually work. So let's just do that. Let's just get the easy option. Look at that. And with that, and another repeater. It needs to be at least three, but four is the safer option. So now that should work. Sweet. And the back. Yes. Woo, first shot. I love it. And by first shot, I mean, well, 11th shot after I've tested everything. <laughs> Alright, so I'll pretty this up and be back with you guys. Alrighty guys, all pretty it up. Well, all the wiring's hidden, at least. Actually, it's not down there. It'll still be visible down here, but that's easy. Um, now, this spot you can see the wiring is through here. But whatever. I like it. It's like a little case for it. Hmm. Now, I'm, I may cover it in the future. Whatever. But for now, with that. And quickly, uh, fences that, yeah, beautiful. And get over it. Let's get out. Beautiful. And this button works perfectly as well. Look at that. Now, what if I was really good at redstone? What I would do is make those sticky pistons uh, leave the fences there and have the stone brick slide in. But I really can't be bothered. And chat, chat. But um, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. I'm gonna get back to this recording uh, maybe in a couple of days when my voice isn't so screwed. So uh, hope you enjoy this little redstone thing, and I'll see you soon.
Alrighty guys, welcome back. I uh, hope you enjoyed that little bit of redstone there. I haven't done much redstone on this world, to be honest. So, um, I'm glad to actually get a bit done. Uh, it wasn't the most terribly complicated thing in the world, but of course, I always find a way to make it, you know, at least a little bit complicated and, you know, screw it up in some way. Then I have to go fix it and, you know, all makes for a really good video and stuff. So, um, hope you have already watched the prank video. Uh, if not, it should be on the screen somewhere, if I remember. Um, make sure you go watch it. Every th uh, this clip, as you can see, by there's a couple of iron golems hanging around. Uh, they'd be definitely the last ones. My dog's been loud again. Every uh, she, she loves to ruin my recordings. Um, but yeah, this clip post prank. Uh, everything you see saw before this was before the prank. It was still when I was sick. I'm better now, by the way. Thanks for asking. But I'm, no, I'm feeling a lot better. Feeling a lot better. Um, and I have done a bit of work. Uh, which you may have seen in the prank video. Uh, you would have seen this. And yes, it is looking very good, isn't it? I like it. It's it's looking good, I've got to say. it's I'm liking what I've done with it. It's, I haven't tried to go too complicated, which I normally do. I've just gone nice and simple. Kept it simple. Is that what is... Oh, there's another iron golem in there. I missed one, it seems. Um... So very, very simple. So you just go up and you can make it to the top without suffocating. Oh no, it was a sheep. Okay. And we've got every colour here. We've got a bunch of every colour. Again, you, yeah, you can make it from the bottom to the top without suffocating just if you get it right. I uh, still need to breed these guys to get a few more in here. But um, in, case you, in case you are not up to speed, it goes in the colour of wolves. 0 to 16 data. Uh, and these, yeah, I still need to flesh out uh, the top level here, which I will. Uh, I've got enough now, so I'll, I have not got any wheat, so I'll probably do it after I finish recording here. And uh, flesh out the top level, fill in the colours, and maybe put a nice roof on it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So we'll just dump down. Um, so that's what has been going on there. The other little bit that I've been working on, which you may have also seen in the prank video, uh, is this bit down here. I showed you this before of course, but I did a bit of work on this staircase, and I still need to fill that in. No stone brick, whatever. Uh, you can still see the iron blocks in my inventory. But I made a little staircase here. We'll go up the other way. Holes everywhere, man. This is just a mess. And this room needs to be fixed. I picked up an item frame from some... It'll be this one. I'll whack that back on there. All right. But yes, yeah, so you come up here. This is the second exit. Come up here, some nice water streams, which actually continue up to there, which is nice, I think. Uh, and I haven't done this side yet, obviously. And this nice little through area, just to kind of break it up. It's weird having the solid wall. So I've included this little glass area. I think it looks pretty fancy. I like it. It just kind of breaks up. Breaks it up. I like it. And you just come in here, there's extra storage. And this is actually an infinite water pool, so you can dump in here all day and grab water as you see fit. So very, very nice there, I think. And yeah, it's just convenient. Just have a little extra storage space for stuff in case I'm walking past and need to store something. I know if I'm going to shear sheep. But, you know, whatever I need it for. Um, and this other little path, which I thought I'd put in, which actually just goes quickly to the cow farm. And the horse farm. I've got an extra horse now. Did someone give me an extra horse? It's saddled as well. If this is your... It hasn't got a name. If this is genuinely your horse, it's it's here. It's safe. It will not get out. Although, uh, in the prank video, I didn't mention. Uh, we mentioned during the clip when I was talking with Lo. An Enderman put a block in here. He saw it. He took it away. And that's how all the cows spilled out. So I had to kill a bunch. So I had to rebreed them again. Oh, well. What am I going to do? Um, <laughs> how did he get up there? Did, that's impressive. It means he went all the way out there and all the way over the top of the mountain to get to there. That's the only way you can get there. Because you can't go out here now. Oh, Lo got stuck in this. He didn't know the blocks retracted back. No, I've got to be more fancy than just the fences retracting back. That stops you sprinting, doesn't it? It may, on a multiplayer. I may actually change this, if I didn't mention. Hmm. Uh, because I like it when there's a stone brick under there. So I may just uh, a hook... The side pistons up to a mono stable and just have um it means i don't need the other switch which is handy and just have 
the pistons just drop the um, the fences there. But uh, I need to figure out a mechanism for it. I have not. Oh, jeez. Shit, I'm getting a bit gassy. Uh, I, I um, I've got to go into my test, go into Blue World, and figure out how to do that first. So um, I think that's about it. I oh no, did one more thing. Show you one more thing. And while I'm showing you this one last thing, uh, I would like to mention that if you haven't read my Twitter already, which I, I've been tweeting fanatically about it, go watch Zeldathon. <laughs> go do it. If you don't know what Zelda is, you don't know what Zelda is. If you uh, don't know what Zelda is, all right, no worries. If you don't know what Zelda is, then uh, you're missing out because it is the best thing since okay. since sliced bread. Is that what they say? Mm. But yeah, Zeldathon, guys. Guys playing. It's a thing arranged by uh, MC Game is the main guy behind it, along with a, c a cast of other people. And um, Pause, Pause on Pause is there. Uh, Kirk Hendrick is there, the guy who does all the Minecraft songs. Uh, yeah, it's great fun. They play Zelda for 120 hours straight. That is five days. And yeah, much fun he's had. Even if you don't like Zelda, I recommend you get along. They raise, they play Zelda to raise money, and uh, I would have mentioned it six months ago as well, but uh, make sure you get onto it. Just keep the stream open in the background. Good fun, and uh, you get to watch people play Zelda. You get to watch people play video games for a good cause. So um, go watch that. That is my plug for it. And follow me on Twitter, maybe, please. I don't know. All, all of my followers are getting annoyed at my constant Zelda on tweets. Maybe you can uh, give me some better material. So, um... I went behind my house. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, enchanted bow. I went behind my house at Spawn Town and got all these vines. And they look quite nice. And I may add some mossy brick in here. I don't like the look of the dirt, to be honest. I want it all to be stone brick. Or cobble. No, stone brick looks much better. I'll probably get some mossy stone brick from somewhere. I don't know where. It'll come from somewhere. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that, that should be about it. Um, oh, one last thing. I will mention this in my LP that I'll bring out soon. But um, I, with the Inferno Mind series quickly, I'm going to be bringing out that a lot more frequently as of in a couple of days, probably when I release my LP because I'll mention it there. Uh, but um, I'll probably be releasing that a bit more frequently because I've been not liking how often I've got that out recently. So... Look forward to more Inferno Minds in the future, hopefully, guys. And I believe that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, this crazy episode that I've... I should really start recording these in, you know, maybe a span of 12 hours rather than a span of 100 hours. Or 12 hours rather than 12 days. See, that's better. And I've got Facebook open. Silly Steve. Silly Steve. I'm sorry. Unprofessional. I'm sorry. I'll go now. I'll leave you with this beautiful sight. gorgeous for me anyway <laughs> i'll catch you next time guys have a good one